In this next quick tip video, we're going to be covering calibrating the sensors. So by this point, we have connection to the ECU, and we have also loaded a base map and checked our I.O., our input output settings. The next step is to go ahead and calibrate our sensors. And we have a separate video on calibrating the throttle sensor, um, which you can watch, but this is a video about checking the other sensors. So it's more about a sanity check. Now this ECU isn't connected to a car, everything is open circuit. If you have a sensor disconnected, a coolant or the intake air temperature sensor disconnected, it will read approximately 65,000. So you can see here, when just by looking at this screen here, that my coolant sensor and my intake air temperature sensor are open circuit. So by looking at this, we can see that. And the next step really would be to just do a sanity check. So we plug in our sensors and we would see what the values get. With these curves here, these are standard Bosch curves. So if you're using standard Bosch sensors, you know, with the sensors plugged in, they should read same numbers. And of course, you can recalibrate this curve to put the numbers in that are required for your particular sensors. We have other sensors in our base maps. Um, but as I say, these are for genuine Bosch sensors. So a case here is to do a sanity check with the coolant sensor, the intake air temperature sensor, to calibrate the throttle sensor as per the other video and make sure that reads from zero to 100 as it should. And then also we have the map sensor and this vehicle is going to be used on throttle bodies. It's not going to use a map sensor. So you can see here that we have set all of the numbers in this list here to 100, meaning that the map sensor will play no part in the tuning. Of course, if you're running, for example, a three bar sensor, then you can enter the data for the different voltages and pressures in order to get yourself the nice straight line that you need here to read the pressure. And of course, remember that at atmospheric pressure, you'll be reading around 98 to 100 kPa at sea level. So uh, that would give you a good starting point. So with the sanity check confirmed of the analog basic sensors, we're now ready to move on to the next stage. Thanks.